and today we're going to be making almond bites from the Boot Camp Kitchen recipe book. Okay, so the ingredients that we've got are coconut discan de desiccated coconut. I'll never say that word. And ground almonds. Ground almonds, the two main ingredients. My favourite, cranberry berries. Um, and we may only need those, but in case we run out, we've got some mixed fruit. And, and an egg. And honey. And honey. Two eggs and honey. Okay? So yeah. all we're going to do, we're going to use this cup to see how much of each thing we're putting in. You want to put equal quantities of coconut and ground almonds into the bowl. Go Should we put one so of them in? Just fill the cup up. So, fill it up over the bowl. Keep going. There. So that's one cup of desiccated coconut. Over the bowl so you don't spill it. Don't forget these two are the main ingredients so we need quite a lot of them. One cup of ground almonds and then if we've got enough we need half a cup of cranberries. That should do. Mm, Mix okay. them in. And then we're going to crack an egg into the bowl. We're not eating eggshell now, coconut almond bites. Not mix it up, mix your egg up, and then mix the rest of it up all the way around. And then we're simply going to add the honey. We've got about 400, uh, sorry, 100 grams of honey in there. We may not meet, need it all, we don't need the extra egg, that's just the double the quantity. So we'll add it in, mix it up then. All the way around. That's it, keep going. So you want everything stuck together. So it needs to be nice and sticky. Keep going. A bit more mixing, do you want me to do some? Yes, please. I see what you've done there. I saved a couple of cranberries in that cup, have you Fern? Yeah, I know her trick. Hmm. Okay, that should do. So we're then going to get our hands in, put the cup back on the tray. We're then going to get our hands in, which is Fern's favourite bit, and we're going to roll them into little small balls. So grab a bit of mixture, a bit bigger, more than that, so about that much. So you can see the size of the ball. Half a handful. Squash them together and then put them on a baking tray, which We've got a piece of baking paper on it to make it easier. So they could maybe be a little bit bigger. Half Not quite that big, half a handful might be easy. And then we're going to keep going until we've used all the mixture and then bake them in the oven at around 180 degrees. And that's it. We have another healthy snack for children. So um, yes, give them a try and carry on making the balls and we'll hopefully come back showing you a successful output.